Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you my Mexican quinoa recipe. So what you'll need is an onion, two tomatoes, one avocado, two jalapenos, and a red bell pepper. And you just want to chop that all up. So I do pretty big chunks when I chop it up. I'm not very picky with that. Some people I know they like to do smaller chunks in it, but I like the bigger chunks. So I'm just putting that all into a pan right away, except for the avocado and yeah. So I also put the tomato in there, but I know a lot of people don't saute their tomatoes, but I like to, but it's your personal choice. So the avocado don't put in the pan either. Just the tomato, red bell pepper, onion, and the green peppers. Uh, so just saute that with two tablespoons of oil. And then while that's going, you can get yourself ready one cup of water and one cup of quinoa. So I just have that ready to go on the side and then you want to pour it in. So pour in your one cup of water and then your one cup of quinoa. And at this point I just have the stove on high for the whole time and I turn it down and let it simmer close to the end but for now just keep it on high. Then you want to add in one tablespoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of cumin. Mix that again and then you can add in your beans. So I added about two and a half to three cups of beans and mine are home cooked beans, but you can also add a can or two of uh, canned beans. It's your personal choice. I just like homemade ones better. And then I added half a cup of nutritional yeast and this is also optional, you don't need to add this. I just like to add it in there. And also one teaspoon of this La Grill um, Smoldering Smoked Applewood Spice. I just really love the flavor of it, so I just add that as well. Plus, um, I don't make it very salty, but I know a lot of people like their food saltier than I do, so if you like it, just taste it as you go and add a little bit more salt if you So you want to have it on medium to low heat simmering there for about 15 minutes, and when it's done, take it off the stove, and then you can stir in your avocado. Alright, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.